Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by an acid, a base and an alkali. You should then be able to describe how the pH scale gives information on acids and alkalis. And finally, you should be able to describe the neutralisation reaction between acids and alkalis. Now, we use acids a lot in science. A very common acid is hydrochloric acid, which I'm showing you here. The formula of hydrochloric acid is HCl. Now, usually when we write the formula of an acid, we also include the letters AQ in brackets like this. AQ means aqueous solution, in other words, dissolved in water. Two other acids that we use a lot are sulfuric acid and nitric acid, and I'm showing you these here. OK, now there's one key fact about acids which you need to learn. In aqueous solutions, acids produce hydrogen ions, in other words, H+. This shows hydrochloric acid in aqueous solution. As you can see, the molecule has split and released H+. We've also made the chloride ion Cl-. Molecules of sulfuric acid also split in aqueous solution. Again, we're producing the hydrogen ion H+. In this case, we're also producing the sulfate ion SO42-. This shows nitric acid in aqueous solution. Again, you can see we're producing the hydrogen ion H+, but this time we're also producing the nitrate ion NO3-. Coming up, we're going to look at bases and alkalis and what's meant by the pH scale. OK, now another category of chemicals that we often use in chemistry are bases and alkalis, so we're going to look at those now. I should point out that this can look a bit complicated, but stick with it and it will become clearer. Bases are chemicals which can neutralise acids, producing a salt and water. We're going to be looking at that in more detail in later videos. Bases are usually metal oxides or metal hydroxides, and I'm showing you some bases here. We've got copper oxide, iron 3 hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide. All of these are bases because they can neutralise acids, producing a salt and water. Now, bases which are soluble in water are called alkalis. Copper oxide and iron 3 hydroxide are both insoluble in water, so these are bases only. However, sodium hydroxide is soluble in water, so sodium hydroxide is both a base and an alkali. So to recap, bases are chemicals which can neutralise acids, producing a salt and water. Bases which are soluble in water are also called alkalis. Here's a key fact about alkalis that you need to learn. In aqueous solution, alkalis produce hydroxide ions, in other words, OH-. I'm showing you that here for sodium hydroxide. As you can see, the sodium hydroxide is splitting, and it's producing the sodium ion Na+, and the hydroxide ion OH-. So remember that aqueous solutions of alkalis contain the hydroxide ion OH-. Now, the pH scale tells us the acidity or alkalinity of a solution, and you need to learn these values. Acids have a pH between 0 and 6. Solutions with a pH of 7 are neutral and alkaline solutions have a pH between 8 and 14. Now, we can determine the pH of a solution using either a pH probe or universal indicator. A pH probe determines the pH electronically, whereas universal indicator changes colour depending on whether a solution is acid, alkali or neutral. Green shows a neutral solution, in other words pH 7. Very acidic solutions produce a red colour, whereas a purple colour shows a very alkaline solution. We're going to finish by looking at the neutralisation reaction between an acid and an alkali. Remember that acids produce the hydrogen ion H+, and alkalis produce the hydroxide ion OH-. When we react an acid with an alkali, the hydrogen ions react with the hydroxide ions to produce water like this. This is the equation for neutralisation, and you do need to learn this. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on acids, bases and alkalis in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.